All right, happening now in the Gulf, we continue to keep a very close eye on the storm system that could eventually develop into our first named storm of the 2023 hurricane season. That name would be Arlene. Our local weather expert, Peyton Malone, is tracking the latest and great news. You're saying we shouldn't even care about it. No, I mean, you should care because I want to talk about it, but we're not <laughs> okay. worried about it. And really, this is not going to impact anyone directly. Florida's got some scattered storms. That's about it. And there's a rip current risk off the beaches, but that's it. Here it is this morning. It's sitting about 300 miles away from New Orleans. It's sitting about 285 miles away from Fort Myers. That's a good distance from all land. And this thing is now heading south. You could see the past uh, kind of track of this thing as it moved to the north yesterday, slowed down and then wobbled back down. So it's doing everything we thought it would do. And it is battling some shear. We think the center is about there and then all the rain is displaced thanks to some wind shear. Hurricane hunters, they just took off from Keesler over in Biloxi. I think they'll get out there at about 6 o'clock, anywhere from 6 o'clock to 6.15 this morning, and they're going to let us know if it has 40 mile per hour winds. If it does, it would get the name Arlene. If not, well, then it stays a depression, and if it doesn't intensify in the next probably eight hours or so, well, it's not going to do it. And notice by this weekend, Saturday into Sunday, it's moving into Cuba as a remnant low with really no huge impacts there, I don't think. So this is the track, and that track is odd, right, for the Gulf of Mexico heading south. It just happens to be our steering currents, and oftentimes when we have a system, uh, they don't form in the northern Gulf. This one formed in the northern Gulf. It sat there for yesterday, and now the upper level winds are coming on in from the north. Typically in hurricane season, we have more of a southerly flow coming on in around a ridge of high pressure. Well, this time we have a trough of low pressure over Florida. That's pushing down on this thing, and that's what's sending it to the south. So if I tell you what, if we could get a trough to sit up over Florida all summer long, that's not going to happen. Uh, that would help us out, and it would save the United States from any tropical threats that are in the Atlantic. But in this case, it is going to help us on out, and that storm will eventually slowly turn the remnants of it towards the Bahamas into early next week, but shouldn't be a major issue. 